I, I just feel so alive being in the mountains and everything is just so much more vivid and so much kind of, it's just pure somehow. And there's something that just attracts me in this purity. So my name is Vincent Bouchard and I'm associate professor in the Department of Mathematical and Statistical Sciences. So my research is at the interface between physics and mathematics, so string theory and geometry. And as far as teaching goes, I've taught a lot of courses, so first year courses, higher level courses, graduate courses. So I just like to teach a lot of different courses. It's just fun to teach, really. So I like, uh, I like the mountains. I like being in the mountains. Uh, there's something about them that just make me happy. So my wife bought me a sweater that just says, happy you're in the mountains, and I think that's just perfectly right. Uh, there's something special about the mountains. So I like any kind of vengeance event, long distance adventures in the mountains. So running, ultra running, skiing in the winter, backcountry skiing, ski mountaineering, uh, anything that is being outside for a long time in the mountains on my own or with friends is fantastic. There are many connections between ultra endurance events and teaching and learning of mathematics. So I think to be successful in ultra endurance events, you have to be able to, to adapt and to see obstacles, not as obstacles, but as challenges, and to try to find solutions, to get out of your comfort zone, to really be happy to be challenged. And learning is a big challenge as well. So I think it is, it's important to be challenged in life and we should embrace the challenge. And this is something that I think as a student, it's very important that you see learning as a challenge and a, a, an opportunity to grow. You know, you always have a plan of what you're gonna do, but it never goes according to plan. And you always have to find solutions. You know, there's no one way of teaching. So every single time you're in front of a class, you have to adapt what you're gonna do. So what worked in the previous class might not work in the next one, because you have new students, uh, they have a different reality, the context of the class is different, it might be a different time of the day. So you always have to adapt and see uh, the new things as challenges. So teaching is a very, scary thing at first because you expose yourself in front of a class and then you're supposed to be the person that knows and that will kind of transmit the knowledge to students but this is not the way it goes i mean it's much more of an interactive uh, process and in fact as an instructor you make mistakes you do things that are not perfect yeah sure you made a mistake that's fine it's a learning opportunity for students so everything is a learning opportunity so the ultra running community is a very interesting group of people because it's not a competitive community of course there's a race so there's some competition but everyone is there to support each other so people will uh, stop and help them and make sure that they get the help they need even if that means that their own race is is uh, suffering for that and I think a learning community is the same thing at least that's what we try to do in the classroom as instructor we should try to do is to create a community of people that are independent self-sufficient learners uh, strong personalities confident but at the same time that help each other so we don't want our students to compete against each other because you learn a lot more when you support each other and collaborate